The Xiaomi Hyper OS is one of the best skin right now. It's as if Xiaomi took inspiration from iOS, Pixel UI, Nothing OS, and merged them into a single UI, which is Hyper OS. So, in this video, we'll compare Hyper OS and iOS and examine the similarities, differences, and find out which is the best OS for you. So starting things with the lock screen, in iOS you can change the font style, color of clock and also add some important widgets. The best part is this depth effect but it doesn't work for all wallpapers in the iOS 17, it used to work in the iOS 16 but in iOS 17 it works for a few wallpapers. Xiaomi Hyper OS can not just change the style, color, font, size and placement of the clock but there are tons of different clock styles to pick from including the classic, room bus and magazine style. Yeah, it does support depth effect in clock, signature and works on almost all wallpapers and you can add widgets as well. You guys can download our exclusive wallpapers by joining our channel membership, it's less than $2 just 59 INR. This way you can support our channel and also get access to all the wallpapers we use. In the iOS 17, you can add up to 200 lock screen styles but in Hyper OS, the max limit is 10 as of now. This is the always on display to lock screen transition or both these UI and no doubt Hyper OS is just better than iOS in that department. Now HyperOS home screen is also a lot similar to iOS 17 home screen. There are similar icons, similar interface, similar pages and similar widget style as well. But in HyperOS we have option to customize not just the page style, icons but also animations. Now I'm gonna show you the interface and animation of some system apps like Dialer. Message, Camera, Clock, the weather application got some nice animation in the Hyper OS and this even depth effect which is cool, wow. Finally Gallery. So you guys can find a lot of similarities in there and no doubt iOS did it first in Hyper OS just took it from iOS but did it better and is always one step ahead. This is the control center of Hyper OS and iOS 17 and again they look like twins but iOS is better and clean in showcasing the expanded interface. The Hyper OS elements are not perfect at all. The notifications are so messed up in iOS, a user coming in from Pixel or Samsung or even Xiaomi just cannot get used to the erratic behavior that iOS offers in handling notifications. The iOS 17 for iPhone 14 Pro and above got some exciting dynamic island features showcasing live activities in cool format such as showcasing timer or Uber ride match score and battery warning or charging sign. Here yeah, there too Xiaomi Hyper OS got similar dynamic island style notifications or battery warning and charging sign and they plan to add more to it. Then there is split screen, PIP mode and sidebar in Hyper OS which is something you won't find in iOS. Yes, SI message, FaceTime is something you won't find in Hyper OS. The settings got tons and tons of options in both iOS and Hyper OS and there's so much you can change and customize in both these UI in there. Now privacy and security is where iOS 17 is way ahead of Hyper OS giving options like sensitive content warning, lockdown mode and of course find my iPhone is the best tracking service right now. This all guys, iOS is clean, stable and the interface is just perfect but they should fix the notification mess and add more customization options in there. Xiaomi Hyper OS is I can say the best OS right now giving us all the features and options. There are some UI mess here and there but overall the animations, interface and lock screen is just wow. Thanks guys for watching, your thoughts in the comment section below and make sure to join our channel, I'll meet you guys in the next one, peace out.